Hi, this is Anand. Now let me start with uh, you know a little bit about me. You know, as a person, <laughs> I guess. Um, so I uh, live in Bangalore, and this is my family, right? You can see that's Radhika in the middle, and my son Vetri on the side. This photo was taken, I don't know, I think quite a few years back. Um, unfortunately, Radhika is no more, but uh, uh, I'm lucky that you know my son still uh, you know lives with me. He's 28 years old. And uh, he's uh, he's uh, finished his uh, studies at IMA in Bangalore, and he's uh, started his own business now. So, uh, so that's uh, that's a little bit about me now. And um, where was I from originally? From uh, a place called Virudhunagar, a small town near Madurai. Um, you know, had a, you know wonderful childhood life, totally fun filled. Uh, amazing parents, you know, a brother and a sister, small town, and you know, un unbelievable school. Actually, lucky to have a school where uh, large grounds and uh, and you know, great teachers and, and a very nice environment. Um, so, did all my uh, you know schooling there, uh, then um, and pre university there in my home, in my town. I was blessed to get into uh, engineering at IIT Madras. Did mechanical engineering for five years. Um, but you know, in, in some ways, good for the engineering profession. <laughs> I turned to software. <laughs> uh, I don't think I was uh, I was anywhere going to be a good mechanical engineer. So started my career with you know Tata Motors uh, long long ago. Um, but I know it was a wonderful time to be actually in, in computing. You know, totally up and coming field, and uh, there was you know 1981 <laughs> when I started work. Uh, amazing time. Uh, then. Um, I spent um, uh, what almost uh, thirteen odd years living and working in Australia. That was again, I know, an amazing time. You know, it was uh, such a truly wonderful multicultural society there, and and I was lucky to work with some you know amazing people uh, as well when I was there. I had a fantastic boss, and um, I grew up to be heading an IT function of a company there. I then came back to India with the software startup for a few years. Uh, unbelievable experience, you know, what does it take to really, you know, uh, you know, get a software startup going, right? All the challenges, um, that was, that was again, an, an unbelievable experience. Then, um, I guess, um, my last, uh, job before I came on board PM Power Consulting, uh, was with Fidelity, uh, again, a great place to work, very employee friendly and, you know, lots of freedom to do what you want to do. Uh, great experience, but then you know I had to move on, and uh, and you know at the time um, you know I knew that uh, JV, who's uh, who had founded uh, this uh, firm, PM Power Consulting, along with a few other uh, of his friends, uh, I knew what they were doing, and I got attracted to the model. Right? <laughs> uh, I think you know it's, everyone talks about wanting to be on my own, and you know I was I'm probably no different. I uh, wanted to be on my own and do some things. Um, which I can call my own, and PM Power was uh, was a perfect blend for me because you know there was a team, uh, there was a team uh, with me. Although, so you know, I felt uh, although I was on my own, you know, I wasn't alone. You know, there was an amazing people at PM Power Consulting. You know, I wouldn't want anything else in my life. Um, you know, they're great friends and great professionals, and uh, you know, very humble, humble group of people who want to learn and grow all the time, right? So. So it's been what nine years now with uh, PM Power and uh, and and also the experience, you know, with PM Power of working with so many different uh, clients, right? Um, you know, it started with um, you know coaching for project managers uh, and delivery managers, then grew on into uh, lots of coaching for agile uh, consulting. <laughs> And uh, I'm even excited now because this is now working with you know some of the leaders, uh, uh, trying to look at um, uh, practices like you know continuous planning and continuous delivery. Um, so it's it's I think you know what's been good is the diversity of uh, of experience in PM Power Consulting. And like I said, you know we work as a team. You know I know I can always reach out to you know any anyone in PM Power. Uh, for their uh, without any you know, without any uh, without any fear of you know being looked down upon or something like that right which can happen in some consulting firms here I mean everyone's a friend and you know 
and no question is stupid and i ask lots of uh, you know, simple questions to some of my colleagues and bug them for answers uh, and it's been a tremendous growth in the last uh, you know last nine or ten years and it's been a very very professional organization truly you know helping organizations uh, be agile and uh, and achieve the kind of business outcomes they really want to achieve so it's been a tremendous experience and i'm continuing to enjoy that other than that you know me as a person probably i, I just love playing bridge uh, if you if you uh, i started you know learning in my college days but didn't play for uh, for a long time uh, and then you know sort of picked it up in the last few years i have a great partner in my uh, one of my friends from college giri and we just love playing bridge and it's just my passion and i'm sure one of these days we will you know make it to the big league there hope so other than that uh, obviously you know um, i don't know meditation and uh, spiritual pursuit is a important part of me uh, I, as who i am now i guess really trying to figure out who i am i guess right uh, so it's it's amazing actually and more than anything else the the thing about peer power consulting is being that you can really really add value to individuals that uh, that in your you know client organization that you're going to work with and you know when they say hey you know what you know working with you has added something to me uh, as a person professionally and personally uh, that's an amazing reward right? and i hope this journey continues for uh, for a lot longer bye for now